Morning team, I'm Dave, one of the co-founders of Kind. Thank you so much for coming to check out our SDK for Next.js. We're super excited to see that Next.js are mo have fully committed to, to server rendering. It's something that we've been doing at Kind for a while. Our whole stack is server rendered. Our marketing website is built on Astro uh, precisely because of how little JavaScript they ship. Uh, so it's great to see big players getting on board as well. Okay, so let's jump into the SDK for app router, router, however you want to pronounce it. The quickest way to test it out is to head over to the Kind Starter Kits uh, GitHub repo. We have um, we haven't fully announced this yet, but we've got a, a starter kit that's there with full um, app router support. So you can go ahead and use this template, either create a new repository or open it in a code space. Um, I've already pulled that down, so I'm just going to jump into VS Code. The starter kit was built using the create next app um, that you can do direct from the next website and then just a few embellishments put on top, which I'll go into now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, we've supplied a sample end file for local development and there's three variables here that you're going to want to replace your client id your secret because it's server rendered um, and the subdomain that you have set up on kind so i'm assuming for the purposes of this demo that you have a kind account if not head over to kind.com and set one up um, super quick so inside the application uh, inside your kind account um, here's the the domain, the client ID, and the secret. So these are the three values. You can use these copy buttons here uh, to just plug those in. So you're going to want to copy this file and name it just .env.local. I'm not going to open that up now because it's got my secrets in it. And you're also going to want to populate these two fields. So this is a pre-configured URL that we provide, API or slash kind callback. So this is so that we can set up all the routing for login, registration, creating organizations, logout, and also the URL where you want your users to go to when they log out. So pop those two in and hit save. Back over on the application itself, um, you're going to want to npm install the dependencies, which I've already done, and npm run dev which should boot up a copy of the starter kit on localhost 3000, which we have here. Now I've already configured in my kind account. So I've said that I want passwordless authentication and that I want Google to be enabled. So when I'm clicking on sign in, it's going to flick me through to this screen and give me those options. Um, for purposes of this demo, I'm just going to continue with Google. And that's it. I'm in. So this is our logged in page. You can see that it's redirected us to slash dashboard. My avatar's pulled through and my username's pulled through. Um, and then on logging out, it's moved me out to localhost 3000. If I try and access that page again, um, it's just booted me straight back out to here. So if we want to have a little dig into the code for that, essentially what we have is a f uh, the source directory um, was one of the options that I opted into when setting up the Next.js build from uh, Create Next App. Inside our app folder, we have a couple of files that we need to provide. So one of those is a middleware file. So this will run on every root request. Uh, this is one of the ones that Next.js suggests. So it can run on every request except for your API, Next Roots, um, and your favicon files, because you don't necessarily want checks happening there. And Kind gives you some auth middleware out of the box, which will read from your environment variables to determine where to send the user uh, pre and post login. The other file that you need to create is inside this API folder and then auth and kind auth in square brackets for dynamic root matching is a root.js or ts depending on if you're using TypeScript. And essentially this is just importing our uh, handle auth which is going to enable us to direct um, 
your users to your login or your registration or logout links. This handles all, all your route handling for you. The other thing that we supply is, uh, or the way that I've set it up in our layout file, is we have a get kind server session. So this contains a lot of helpers to be, to be able to check whether or not the user is authenticated, get the user profile information, get their permissions, um, get any feature flags that, that user should have access to, all contained from this and is all grabbed from the server side, as well as some components for the registration link, login link, and logout link. Um, so to see how they're used, you can grab is authenticated and get user from the get kind service session helper. So here we're doing a check to see is the user authenticated. If not, then we'll show them our login link and registration links that you saw on the demo before. Otherwise, we're going to show them the avatar um, and show them the given name and family name and the logout link. So effectively, well, this is for your logged out state. And then um, as we saw before, you get the little avatar profile and your logout 